Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to paint a pangolin in watercolor. The reason why I choose pangolins to paint is because they are one of the endangered animals in Taiwan. I want to try to do what I can to at least help people know more about these endangered animals. So I'll be making a tutorial series on some endangered animals in the near future. Also, I think this mom and baby pangolin painting is so sweet. It makes me smile and I hope it makes you smile too. So as always, I started with a contour drawing. It's quite important to have an actual sketch because it does affect your finished painting. I like to mark out some of the bigger scales on the back areas. So it's easier for me to put on colors later. After I'm done with sketching, I like to align my sketching with light watercolor and erase pencil sketching after the outlining is dry. This will prevent any pencil sketch left on the finished painting. Then I start putting a first wash on the pangolin. The original pangolin color is more like dark gray, but I think if I use that color for the whole painting, it looks kind of dull and boring. So I choose a blue tone for the base color. I think it would look more interesting. Feel free to try other colors if you prefer. I suggest keeping the first wash very light. Usually it's mostly water, so we can work on layers and details afterwards. The baby pangolin has a lighter color, so I use a light green gray color for the first wash. After the first wash is dry, I start painting from the eyes. For any animals that I do, I usually start painting from the eyes because if you paint the eyes well, it will help the whole paintings a lot. Once the eyes are done, it's time to paint the scales. I think the scales is the most important part in this painting because it covers a big area. I like to observe the reference photo carefully before I start painting. For example, how scales change directions, shapes, and even sizes. So around the head, legs, and belly areas have smaller and closer scales, but the back parts has bigger and wider scales. The tail scales flow in different directions than the other parts due to the angle. It does take some patience here to paint out all the scale shapes, but it's much easier to paint colors on after this. Done painting the scales shape, I start putting colors on the scales. Although it might look like it's all in navy blue or darker color, but actually some scales are in lighter color and some are darker. For example, around the top back area has a lighter color due to the refraction. Then around the head and legs areas have darker color because of the shades. So here's how I put the colors on the scales. First, I apply a light wash. Then add the darker colors around the edge while the paper is still wet, so the scales have this natural blending color. I like to hold two pen brushes in hand. One is for the light wash, and the other one is a smaller size for adding the darker colors. Very simple and easy. I basically painted all the scales using this method. When putting the colors, remember to leave some blanks around the edge, as you can see here. This will make it look more 3D. Also, 
Also around the belly areas, the scales color are different. I'm using a green gray mix with some navy blue for these parts. The junction between the baby and the tail has a darker shadow, so make sure you strengthen it when putting on colors. I'm using an indigo mixed with a little bit brown color for this area. For the underside of the tail part, it has a similar color as the belly area. It should be lighter than the scales color. When painting the tail, make sure to strengthen the part of the tail that connects the top with the button so it gives it a more realistic look. After I'm done painting the pangolin mom, it's time to paint the baby. Unlike the mommy, the baby is much smaller, so the scale parts are not as detailed or complicated. Because it's a lighter color than the pangolin mom, I choose a green gray mix with some light blue. So it's lighter color and also matches with the whole painting better. Although the baby is much smaller, Make sure to mark out the shadows and brighter parts, like the areas around the legs that have darker shades, and brighter around the head area. So that's it, lovely penguin painting. I really hope it's helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. This way you never miss out my weekly art videos and tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye!